It all began in 1995 we've all heard about miracles happening, but this story is definitely one for the books. It's known that twins seem to share a unique connection to each other. This story is evidence proving that that connection is very real. This set of newborn premature twins experienced something so incredible, you'll have a hard time believing it. It's quite apparent how different of a time the 1990s was compared to now. Regardless, premature babies being born has always been a thing. Carrie and Brielle Jackson were twins that were born 12 weeks early in Worcester, Massachusetts. Since they were born so early, the girls were very tiny and required some extra attention. No one that was in the twins' lives could have ever imagined what they would go through in the early weeks of their lives on Earth. One of the twin babies had been doing well, the other was wasn't. Carrie appeared to be doing well. Even though she only weighed a little over two pounds, she was eating quite a bit and gaining weight like she was supposed to. Unfortunately, Brielle seemed to be having a harder time than her sister. She was having a difficult time breathing and wasn't gaining any weight. Even though sometimes she was doing okay, her parents and her doctors were hoping she would make a turn for the better. Soon enough, they had to face reality. Like many premature babies, they were in incubators. Like most babies that are born early or underweight, the newborns were put into incubators. The twin girls were put into two separate incubators, and spent most of their time away from each other. Even when they are older, most twins don't like being away from their sibling. As hard as it was to remain positive, the Jacksons knew that they had to, even if the unthinkable were to happen. And the unthinkable did happen, but not in the way you'd expect. Their father was trying to remain optimistic. The twins made it to three weeks old and everything seemed to be going okay. As each day passed, Paul Jackson and his wife thought they were closer to bringing their girls home. The nurses in the NICU were very honest. And they told me upfront that things look pretty good now, but, to be honest with you, over the next 48 to 72 hours, things could turn very quickly, said Brielle and Carrie's dad, Paul Jackson. What happened next was the scariest moment of their lives. Everything changed in a matter of seconds. Everything happened so quickly. Brielle's breathing became labored, and within seconds, her heart rate increased. Her heart was beating entirely way too fast for an infant. Her oxygen level dropped too quickly, and her parents began to fear the worst. In moments like these, people tend to hope and pray for a miracle to occur. Having one of their children in distress, made the Jacksons feel completely helpless. Unfortunately, things continued to get worse. Brielle was turning blue. Because her oxygen levels had drastically dropped, Brielle began to turn blue. This is obviously a bad sign for anybody, but it's especially troubling when it's a baby. A lack of oxygen can cause brain damage, and it can cause other organs in the body to shut down, as well. Not having sufficient oxygen in their body can make a situation go from serious, to life-threatening, very quickly. That's what happened to little Brielle. There's only so much that doctors could do, the doctors and nurses tried everything that they possibly could to get Brielle to breathe, but tiny Brielle continued to struggle for breath. The oxygen they were giving simply wasn't working. Brielle just wasn't responding to their treatment. In this kind of situation, every second is crucial to survival. They were quickly running out of time. A NICU nurse, named Gail Kasparian, had an idea, so she decided to run with it. The nurse had a different idea. What may have seemed crazy at the time, turned out to be an absolute moment of genius. What Gail Kasparian decided to do hadn't been proven to work, and had actually never been done in the United States. If it had, no one had ever documented it. Gail suggested putting Brielle in the incubator with her sister. She thought that it was possible that the girls could help each other, and it couldn't hurt to try. 
Carrie put her arm around her Brielle as if to hug her. The moment Brielle was placed next to her sister, something absolutely incredible happened. Carrie put her arm around her sister, as if she were giving her a hug. Even though there was no way Carrie even knew what a hug was. Side by side the girls lay together on their bellies. Everyone in the room looked on, hoping that the nurse's crazy idea actually worked. Only seconds had gone by when the Jacksons got the good news they were praying for. The baby's heartbeat and breathing regulated. Brielle had begun to breathe normally without assistance. It appeared that the contact with her sister made her calm down enough to regulate her breathing. It can honestly be said that Kiri saved her sister's life in that incubator. Once she was put in the incubator, Brielle's heart rate stabilized and her temperature went back to normal. What actually happened in the incubator that saved Brielle? It's actually something pretty simple. It's called the kangaroo effect. Putting Kiri and Brielle next to each is what saved Brielle. Kangaroo care refers to the act of placing your newborn on your chest, skin to skin. It's good for you and it's good for baby. Numerous studies have documented the benefits of kangaroo care. They include improved heart rate, oxygen saturation, breathing, sleep, weight gain, breastfeeding and reduced crying, reports Akron Children's Hospital. The twins' connection ended up being their saving grace. Skin-to-skin -skin contact is necessary for newborns. Doctors from all over the world believe that skin-to-skin -skin contact is vital for newborns. Moms and dads are told to hold their new babies on their bare chest, allowing for their child's bodies to take in all of the benefits. While this is exceptionally beneficial for premature babies, specialists in the neonatal field agree that every newborn should have skin-to-skin -skin time with their parents. Research has also found positive associations with cognitive and motor skills, and psychosocial benefits, such as attachment and parental confidence, Akron Children's Hospital reports. The twins live a normal life after going home. After their incredible ordeal, things for the Jacksons calmed down, and it was smooth sailing for then on out. After some time passed, the Jacksons were able to take home their babies, the girls grew up to become best friends. When they were little, they didn't know how important they were to each other, but once they were able to understand what they went through, their love grew even stronger. The twins bond is just as incredible today. Wait until you see them now. The girls are now all grown up. Seeing them today, you would never guess that they were born 12 weeks early. Now that they are 23, they are doing better than okay. Brielle and Kiri are still extremely close, but that's obviously not surprising. The two of them are happy and healthy, and feel grateful to have each other. There's nothing like the love that comes from family, but there is something quite special about the bond between twins, and Brielle and Kiri can tell you all about that. Their miraculous story still told on the internet 22 years later. The story of Brielle and Kiri finds its way online every now and then, their experience was so heartwarming, so miraculous, that it's the type of story that people enjoy hearing about. The fact that the story has a happy ending definitely helps with that. Hopefully, the Jackson twins will give us an update in the near future. Wouldn't it be nice to hear about a beautiful double wedding?